it's Thread Up Thursday, and it's also the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, you guys. We are going to be opening a designer box for our Thread Up Thursday today. So let's go ahead and get into it. For those of you that are new here, my name is Christina, and I am a part-time reseller on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and The Real Real. This box is coming to us from Suwannee, Georgia. And if you aren't familiar with the designer boxes, you get seven DIY designer items, which means they could need cleaning, repair, maybe they're missing a size. For some reason, either ThreadUp did not accept them or they didn't sell on ThreadUp. And they pack them in these boxes and the boxes are $140 plus tax plus shipping. Um, this is my most recent one, you guys. Okay, and it is, it was super taped. I'm sure you saw me cutting the tape, but it's also really heavy. So fingers crossed that maybe there's a handbag in here. That's always like my hope is that we're gonna get a handbag, maybe an accessory, some shoes and some clothing. Now, I'm still on the hunt for that elusive Louis Vuitton that might be in one of these boxes. Um, if you haven't checked out uh, Sherry's channel over at Single Mom Review, I will link her channel above. Definitely go check it out because you guys, she got one in one of these boxes and I'm still looking for one. So let's hope that one is in here for me today. All right, let's get looking. Like I said, this was a recent box. So let me tell you when I ordered this one. Oh, there's a little note in here. That's new. Okay. Um, I ordered this one on June 24th and I don't think I had any credits to use for that one. Um, I'm just going to quickly read this note because this is something new that I haven't gotten in a box before. It says, hey friend, just a quick note to say thanks for shopping on ThreadUp. Whether this is your first order or you're a seasoned thrifter, I truly appreciate you choosing used. Over a decade ago, we set out on a mission to inspire the world to think secondhand first. Today, we've recirculated more than 200 million pieces of secondhand apparel. I honestly couldn't be prouder of the impact we're making together every day. At ThreadUp, we want you to find incredible, unique styles, discover new brands, and get great value, all in a sustainable way. Don't forget, we add tens of thousands of new items daily, so there's always something fresh waiting for you. And if you're one of those people who likes to try out the newest things, here we go, this is, must be what the letter's about, or you're AI curious, we've got a concept store for all kinds of new AI experiences that are going to change the way you shop secondhand. Visit threadup.com slash concept to learn more and let us know what you think. Okay, so very interesting. AI is, of course, the hot thing. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll go check it out and see what they're up to. Okay, there's the sealed tissue at the top. Oh, and I can already see why this box is so heavy. Y'all, it looks like we might have a vintage Burberry's trench right on top. You guys, oh, I hope this is in good condition. These sell so well. Oh, this, this is so heavy. Okay, um, we do have a vintage Burberry's um, trench. Oh, this is so nice, you guys. I think I've only gotten one or two of the vintage trenches before. Um, let me see if I can sh show it to you properly. If not, I may have to take a picture and show you guys. Now, the reason this one is so heavy, I can already tell, is because this one is lined on the inside, okay, with like a, like a sweater material. Oh, this is great. Okay, so the last vintage one I got, which was also the full-length trench like this, was completely split in the back. So this one actually looks like it's in great shape. It does have, like I said, the liner, okay, on the inside, which is separate. You can attach and detach it from the inside with this zipper. So the one that I got before did not have this. So this actually can be sold separately from the jacket because people purchase this as an accessory. So I will have to decide if I'm gonna sell these together or if I'm gonna sell these separate. Okay, let's see what size this is. <laughs> I swear I saw 
saw the tag a second ago, you guys. Um, this jacket is so heavy, eh? Okay, so there is a problem here with the belt. Okay, some of the leather is pulling away. Um, so that's an issue. Okay. I literally just saw the tag. Where did it go? <laughs> here we go. Okay. Um, Burberry's. This is 100%. Well, oh, this is for the liner. Hmm. Okay. Let me look in the pocket and see if it says. Um, this one is the long, which we figured that out, and it says 10. So this maybe is a women's 10. I'll do some more investigating on this and let you guys know. So that's awesome. We kind of got like a two for one on that. That's great. Okay, let me give you another pink. Okay, so you can see kind of what we have left because that took up the whole top. Looks like we might have an accessory and some sneakers. I love luxury sneakers. Okay, so let's get, let's do one pair of shoes first. Um, first up, we have a pair of rag and bone kind of stacked heel, open toe. There is some staining right here on the outside. This is very cushy. Um, let's see what size these are. You guys, these have such little wear. That's awesome. Rag and bone does not resell for the most, um, but that's okay. I feel like I'm getting a lot of rag and bone in these boxes lately. Let's see if I can quickly find the size. Hmm. I don't see the size on that one. This one also kind of has a little bit of that staining here on the footbed. Hopefully that's something that I can wipe up easily. And again, I'm not really seeing the size on here. So I will off camera have to look a little bit closer and see if I can figure out what size these are. I do do direct sales through my videos. So I will be giving pricing or having pricing on the screen if you're interested in purchasing any of the items in the box, you just need to send an email to Stina resells at gmail.com. I invoice your PayPal and you're welcome to purchase from me directly. So overall, these are in pretty good shape. Like I said, a little staining here and I've got to figure out what size they are. But um, yeah, these won't resell for the most, but they're in pretty good condition. So not mad about that at all. All right, we have another clothing item. Ooh, this is a really pretty yellow. We've got an Alice and Olivia. Again, another brand that I feel like has been showing up in the designer boxes a lot recently. This is tiny. Let's see. Um, the size maybe has come off of here. Uh, let's see. This is 85% cotton and 15% cashmere. I was hoping there would be a size on here. Typically with Alice and Olivia, this size is on this little plastic tag here, or there might be another one attached up here with a like see-through tag that will have the sizing. Um, either way, this looks pretty tiny, so an extra small or small. And then the back is like very sheer. So usually if I get an item that's in good condition and it doesn't have the size on it, I will send it into the real world. I don't know that I will do it with this though because Alice and Olivia doesn't resell for much and your commissions through the real real on lower priced items are not good you guys. Um, I'll have to do an update soon on my con last consignment into the real real because it's done pretty well you guys. Um, okay so let's do one more clothing. This is okay this one is Dolce & Gabbana. So we have kind of a higher designer. And this is a button down lightweight cardigan in a white with these black, like polka dots kind of, in a gray and black, really pretty. Usually when I get some sort of knitwear, I'm expecting that there might be some holes for repair. I don't see anything off the bat with this one. All right, let's see if we can find a size. Here we 
there's the interior tag. This is 100% silk. Awesome. Love when we get some great materials. I do not see a size on this one. I will put measurements on the screen for this and I'll let you guys know what size I think it is. I would guess a medium on this one. But that's really nice. Okay, so happy with that. I'll give you guys another pink. We have one more clothing, shoes, and an accessory. So let's see here. We'll do the last piece of clothing. This is Sandro. I love Sandro pieces. I think they're really pretty, um, but they don't resell for the most, unfortunately. Got a really pretty navy, kind of knit. Um, it's like this part's kind of like a blouse and the rest is knit, so that's kind of cool. And let's see if I can find a size on this one. Um, it says 100% linen. Hmm, okay. I can, I can see that. And I am not seeing a size right off the bat. So again, I will look a little bit closer to see if I can find the size. Oh, here it is. Um, this is a size two, which Sandro does size their pieces differently. Okay, so this is going to be a medium. Really nice. I love this one. Okay. Not the, like I said, not the best for resale, but again, I will take items in good condition that I can list and get sold. As long as we have maybe one item that will pay for our box, I'm good. And that Burberry's trench is definitely going to make me a profit on this box. All right, let's go for the shoes next, y'all. I love designer sneakers. You guys, did we get Golden Goose? Oh. And Golden Goose is supposed to look distressed. Um, I'll, have, I'll have to Google Lens and see um, about these. But anyways, look at how great these are. Now, did ThreadUp think that maybe this was actually damaged and that's why they didn't take it? I don't know. Um, so I will do a Google Lens on this and make sure these are looking the way they're supposed to. I'm pretty sure that's intentional and probably even the shoelace. Um, I don't know. These look good to me. Let's see if we can find the size. I usually always check the insoles as well just to make sure they're legit. They feel legit. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, these look good to me. You should always check the interior tag. And then the inside here, you can see they're a size 39, so an awesome size. Here's the insole. It should also be marked as well as on the bottom. So this says genuine leather, made in Italy. It's got the, the 39. Okay, you've got appropriate got little toe prints here. Y'all, someone really squeezed their foot in here. I feel like this shoe was too small for them. <laughs> um, so... Okay, that one looks pretty good. I'm not going to take time to put that back in right now. Let's look at the other one. Like, one way to tell, in, just from experience, is to compare both shoes together. So you can see this seam. Well, that's intentional because the other one has the seam. Okay, so the other, you know, thing is you're like, oh, no, like the leather's messed up here. Well, it's the same way on this one. Okay. Um, like... The shoelaces are all knotted. Well, I mean, are they supposed to be that way? I don't know, maybe. Um, so you guys, these are awesome. These will would also pay for the box by themselves. I, um, for those of you who've been watching the channel, you know I did try that really expensive designer box. Um, and I got a pair of Golden Goose ones in there. And I'm just saying, like, these are actually in the $140 box versus that really expensive, like $500 box. So um, y'all, I'm totally gonna lose money on that other box. Okay, I haven't sold one item yet. That was like the worst. Um, if you didn't catch that video, I'll make sure to link that one above. Go check out what four items I got from ThreadUp for 500 bucks. I could not, okay? Um, okay, so we got these, yes. Okay, so this box is a winner. 
between the vintage trench and then we've got the golden goose sneakers definitely making a profit on this and we've got one item left what is it <gasps> omg you guys chanel i hope there's actually chanel sunglasses in here oh first of all let's just um admire the case for a minute it's beautifully quilted. You guys, I really hope that if these are Chanel sunglasses, that they're a style that look good on me because I would love to keep a pair. I've gotten two pairs of Chanel sunglasses in these boxes. And actually, I got one in a fun box, y'all. Okay. <laughs> like, that was cool. Um, and neither one of them are styles that look good on me. So hopefully... my goodness. I'm so excited about these. Okay. We've got really pretty. This is kind of, it's got like that quilted look around the outside of the frame. With the gold frame, you have the Chanel there on the outside. Okay. Is this starting to come away a little bit? Is that the problem? I think so. So this is starting to come away from the frame. Like it needs to be popped in. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue that's going to continue to happen or I think it is because it just popped back out. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And then we've got um, all the markings here on the inside that say Chanel and it says made in Italy on this side. We've got um, numbers here. So these look legit to me. Okay, we're going to do a try on you guys. Okay, I'm so excited. I hope these look good. And they keep popping out. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's hope they don't pop out when I put them on my face. That would be like a disaster. Ooh, these are cute. I usually don't do like the pointed up like this, but you know, I may have to like wear these a little bit um, until I decide to sell them. Although I don't want to break them. But that is an issue that they keep popping out. I'll have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with these. But you guys, we got Chanel. This box was awesome. Listen, did we get some Lux brands? Yes. Now that is part of the new description that they've been putting in the box, on the box, on their website, is that it's DIY designer and Lux brands. So we got Sandro, we got Alice and Olivia. Okay, so, you know, those are in the rag and bone. To me, those are like Lux brands. But we got Dolce & Gabbana. We got Vintage Burberry's, Golden Goose, and Chanel. It's okay, I didn't get a handbag, you guys. I love this box. Total winner for me. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. I will be back next week with a thrift haul and another thread up unboxing. Bye y'all.